So the assessment I chose was the Fry Site Ward Inventory, and this assessment goes along with ward recognition, and it assesses site ward recognition and high frequency ward recognition. So a site ward is any word that a reader can recognize and pronounce on site, so they don't have to like decode any words, they just automatically know them when they see them. And that's basically the same thing with a high frequency word as well. And like some examples of high frequency and sight words would be the words like the, but, is, and of, and words like that that they would commonly see in any text that they would read. So the Fry Sight Inventory, that assessment is, it's 300 words, but it's split up into 100 words at a time. So there's like blanks beside each word, and you would have a kid say them to you out loud and when you're assessing them if they take more than a second then you would have to write a D beside the word which would stand for decoding because it would take them a little longer to like sound out the word and figure out what it is because they should be recognizing the words in under one second and then if they would get the word um, under a second then you would write a plus sign beside it showing that they were able um, to recognize the word. And then after you do that, you go ahead with the next set of 100 words. And then after that, you go over another set of 100 words. And then for the ones that they don't get right or they needed a little time decoding, that just um, gives you results showing you that they need some extra help with those words. So you'll know what to go over and what to teach more of for them. And then there's also another assessment that goes along with this called the Dolch Ward Inventory. And that is almost like the same thing. It's just that one has 220 words with it and not um, 300. And also for this assessment, you can do it individual or you can um, also do it with a group. So if you're doing it with a group, you would give them, you would like, so they would have a word, or I'm sorry, they would have a list of words, and you would say, for example, circle the word book, and then they would have four words that they would have to choose from, and they would have to circle the correct word. And then, other than that, you would have the individual assessment, which is what I explained earlier, how they would have the words, and you would just put a plus sign or a D standing for decoded that they needed a little extra time to figure out that word.